In the future, everyone carries a gun. They have to. It's the law. Pa Paul is returning home after a long day, greeting a neighbor as they passed. He watches a red car drive past him into an alley. The sun is warm on his back and it made him feel fresh and free from violence. He sees his neighbor holding a large gun but is not surprised. He ignores it and thinks about his home instead. But as soon as he reached the next street, a man came limping around the corner and leaned hard against the stop sign, clinging to it as his body crumpled to the sidewalk. Paul took a half step backwards and froze. The man looked old, perhaps in his 80s, and even at this distance, Paul could see that the left side of his torso and his legs were soaked with black blood. The man's arm searched the air around him, groping for some invisible aid. Paul swallowed hard, shaking with nausea and praying that the scene before him would end. He turned to look around. There was no one in sight, the street was empty and the houses quiet and abandoned. He approached the wounded man, whose movements were becoming weaker and intermittent. The sunlight danced around him, bursting from between the dense leaves of the tall oak trees like flashbulbs. Paul stood over him, his shadow cast across the ancient face that squinted with confused, pleading eyes. His wrinkled lips moved soundlessly, his dry tongue probing the air. A spectrum of outcomes played through Paul's frightened mind, each scenario ending in disgrace and punishment. Paul knew what he had to do. He had to end this man's suffering. He quietly pulled out his gun from his pocket and... Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.